back with another video and like I said I did promise I was going to make a video on my S3 and I thought what better time than to do it now with everybody in lockdown and everything so quiet on the roads and I thought it'd be really cool to get some peace and quiet so I can really talk through my car, my car journey, how I ended up getting this car um, and because I did a little video on TikTok it kind of blew up and I thought you know what it'd be the perfect chance for people to get to know me a little bit better what I'm passionate about which is I'm going to make a separate video about but this video is going to be purely about my brand well to me, my brand new Audi S3 Black Edition. Uh, this is a sport back model. As you can see, the, I guess the black pack, the black edition, just kind of means so you get like the little things um, painted or sprayed black. Uh, so like the front grille, uh, the wing mirrors, uh, pretty much everything on the car is black. Um, the actual body color is black anyway, but on a normal S3 you'll get silver trimming. So you get silver mirrors, silver front grills, silver rear diffusers. Uh, but on my car literally everything um, blacked out so i quite like it it wasn't something i was initially going for so just to give you a bit of a backstory uh, i initially had uh, another s3 uh, that broke and then audi had to give me another s3 uh, that's more so everything in a nutshell but that's exactly what happened so the ecu went on my car it took them ages i was in curtsy car after curtsy car and then on the last week i think it was in like the first week of january this year i was like you guys are taking the piss essentially um I'm, I'm paying for a car, I'm paying for an S3 monthly, but you've got me in something totally different. It's not fair. So eventually they gave me this. Uh, so the other S3 was a 2016 model, but it had the super sport red seats with the quilted leather. Uh, it had everything else pretty much the same. So digital dash and all that. I think it was on like 23,000. This I got on 9,000 miles. Um, and it's got the it's got the virtual cockpit. It's literally, it's the only things it hasn't got is a pan roof and the start stop uh, and the sport seats. but. Um, I did like the sports seats, but it's something I definitely can live without. So yeah, I've got my private wrench on here as well. These are gel, these are gel plates, so they, you can probably see they've got like a bit of an uh, emboss to them. So that's really, really cool. That was a gift from my brother. Uh, so yeah, apart from the wrench, there's nothing else much I've done to it. Um, literally, it's in such con good condition. Actually, sorry, the only thing I have done to it is uh, this car came with Pirelli P0, which are a really good tyre, but I was trying to, like, I just, at this time I got this car, the weather was horrible. So around like a couple of, about two months ago, the weather was horrible, as you will know if you live in England, and it was just shit. So I needed some new tyres, and Audi UK were really kind. Um, so they were really cool in actually uh, contributing to some new tyres. So as you can see, I've got Michelin Pilot Sport 4s on this. These are 18-inch alloys, so these are the rot like the new rotary style, that stock style alloys uh, wheels. Really nice. As you can see, they've got a little control detailing in there. But overall, wow, this it's only got 9,000 miles one owner. It was absolutely brilliant condition. Uh, this is a late, so it's a 67 reg essentially. Um, as you can see, the car's literally gleaming right now. Um, looks like it's come out of, looks like it's just brand new essentially. Um, but yeah, you've got a little S3 badge there, as you know, at the front. Um, the diffuser here, uh, like I said, it's black. I think on the actual, the, the, the not black edition S3s, you have like a bit of a silver trim, trimming here, but on this one, like I said, everything's black. Um, this car really fortunately came with the uh, tinted uh, rear windows so as you can see here it's only the yeah it's only the rear windows that are tinted yeah this car's pretty standard right now apart from the michelin pilot spot falls is not being and the tinted windows is not anything that's on here that's kind of been meddled with yet uh, in terms of future plans 
I suppose these are quite cool. These little, I've never had this. So I, my previous car was a Seat uh, IB for 2004 Eco Automotive 1.4 diesel. Uh, so to kind of jump to this was amazing. I'm 26 years old, so it's absolutely, it's not, it's not come easy. There we go. So yeah, you've got the LED strips, which is really cool. So I was actually go, going to get the um, pre facelift, but I'm so happy I got the pre. I'm so happy I got the facelift model, um, just because. Hold up. There we go. Yeah, I prefer it much better. So yeah, you've got the LED strips at the... Uh, I think... Actually, sorry. You'll notice I ramble on quite a lot, so do forgive me for that. But uh, what I was going to say is... The one reason I like the facelift Model S3 better than the pre-facelift is because I feel like the Golf R pre-facelift is actually much better than the S3 until they brought out this facelift version and that's when this kind of like took over the hatchback game and I think for us a hot hatch these are the best looking hot hatches you can get in my opinion I think they're smart they're sleek and they're not OTT and I just love what you can do with them so let's move on to what I'm gonna do to this car either I'm gonna put on an air ride or I'm gonna put some springs on it wheel i'm going to get the get put some spaces on it in terms of alloys they are going to be upgraded to 90, 19 inch and then in addition to that uh, so i'll have to get some new uh, michelin uh, tires as well so that's going to be really expensive uh, i'm going to get a full r600 intake system and i'm also going to be doing a i'm also going to be getting a resolute um, just for now but in terms of future i would like to uh, possibly get a full custom exhaust because I do like the quietness I don't like the like my brother's RS3 it's very very loud um but yeah that's pretty much it for the outside of the car let me take you in the inside it's quite windy and it'll be much easier to record what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you from left to right and I'll take you to the rear of the vehicle and I'll also show you the boot so first of all uh, in terms of features of this car uh some main ones to point out so I've got the B&O sound system so I have got the upgraded Bang & Fulton um, entertainment system and it's really good it's the best sound system I've ever heard in a car it's clean it's not overpowering and exactly what you want from a sound system so in terms of like the inside of the car so uh, both I guess door sides are pretty much similar um, however and this one you've got an option to uh, lock the doors and close the doors and on this side so you've got like your brushed aluminium kind of like um, design and you've got really soft leather touch materials to be fair it's like really soft everywhere the only kind of hard bits even that's not too hard, but it's a bit of a hard plasticky. Um, got the it came with the, obviously the uh, mats. Uh, I know some S3s and some cars don't come with the mats, but yeah. Other than that, it's really really basic in that sense. I really like the simplistic design. Um, the top of the roof lining is black, well, like a grey black blackish colour. Uh, you've got like your different light settings here. All really cool, nice LED light um, settings. I've got this setting on right now, which essentially when I open the door, the lights come on in the car. Uh, that helps, especially at night. Uh, we've got the Quattro all-wheel drive um, logo here. Again, some nice brushed silver aluminium. And you've got these really cool air vents. So essentially to turn them off and to turn them on and to kind of, uh, if you want to have the airflow in between, you can do by just moving these around. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much in terms of like that. And yeah, like I said, the materials are really, really soft. Uh, soft and even these air vents are got like a really cool funky like turbine design and uh yeah also got like a brushed aluminium i know the new s3s um or i think it may be the tt you've got like an led here which kind of so whenever you kind of essentially whenever you want to change the temperature or the um airflow setting you'd normally do it here um so if i just turn on the car now i'll move these water bottles <clears throat> but if i just turn on the car now you can see that um so in order to control the air amount or the temperature, you do it here. But I'm pretty sure on the TT or the, one of the new S3s or A3s, you can do it here. So that's pretty cool. And show you the glove box. Uh, pretty standard size. Um, I have got like some hand wipes, I've got paracetamol, headphones and a bottle of deodorant in there. So you can fit a fair bit in there, which is quite cool. And then you've got your little um, like multimedia system thing. So you've got your, you can put your... SD cards in there if you want a CD disc uh, and a SIM if you want to as well, which is pretty cool. I've never seen that before, actually, the first time I've seen that, so that's pretty cool. Um, let's go down here. So you've got your adjustable armrest that goes forward and back, and it's leather as well, really high quality. We've got two aux cable, we've got two USB cables and one aux cable, um, and I've also got wireless charging, which is really cool. Moving on. 
Uh, you've got automatic hill hold, electronic handbrake, really cool, absolutely love those features. And then you've got an amazing, really simplistic kind of, um, I guess, I don't even know what to call this really, a spirally button or a control, like a control control function here, which is really cool. That again, so if you want to go to music, you'd click this down. If you want to go to radio, you'd click this up and there you can see the radio and I've got DAB, which is really cool. If you want to go to your telephone settings, and this, I guess this applies to the SIM here. So if I wanted to have a separate, if I wanted to have a separate phone set up in here, I could, which is really cool. I've never tested that, but that's something I will look into. Uh, but yeah, this is connected to my phone. So you can see Ranjit's iPhone. And then you've got your in-house, um, just gonna zoom out. And then you've got your in-house Audi navigation systems. So I've zoomed out just uh, due to privacy, but yeah, essentially the in-house Audi settings, uh, Audi sat nav will come up here. And I've also got this connected to Google Earth and it is connected to my uh, iPhone internet right now. So it's using my internet to power Google Maps, which is, I don't mind at all and it's really cool. So yeah, that's pretty much it for that. You've got this really, so this car is Estronic and this is a really cool gearbox. So I will start it up in a second, but just before I do, I'll quickly get the cup holders out of the way. Um, decently sized, you can probably fit a buxent amount of, you know, what is this, a litre, seven, is this a litre? Is it a litre? No, 75 CL, so why is that? It's about 700 and, I actually don't know, you know. Anyway, you can fit a 75 CL, water bottle easily no problem um, which is cool and yeah so let's go on to this bit here so you have i have got heated seats i've got air conditioning obviously i've got this really cool led um kind of screen this little screen here and that essentially shows you the temperatures and whatnot uh and then i've got buttons here so this is for automatic um automatic start so like uh, stop stop start essentially so if i click that you can see deactivated and if i click it again activated cool you've got your dynamic indicators which i will show you what they look like they're only at the rear not the front i've got um so if i click this button here this essentially turns the traction control off so if i was to do a launch control you just hold it down and that when you see that um prompt there you know you can do a launch control and put it into dynamic and sport gearbox but yeah let's put that back on Yeah, cool back on and then here you've got an option to put the screen down if you want to and that's really really it's a really smooth transition and if you want to put it back up you can do and when you turn the cart on and off it goes up and down accordingly and then you've got drive select so you've got your drive select and you've got efficiency comfort auto dynamic and individual i normally tend to switch between efficiency and dynamic uh, just because they're the two most appropriate modes that i feel like i need to drive in and if i wanted to change the modes um a little bit quicker i can do so by clicking this little uh, star button here so if I see there should mm, really weird normally it lets me do it I don't know why it's let me do it maybe I have to turn the car on but which I will do uh, now because I can show you take you through the virtual cockpit and whatnot so there so start up in efficiency and yeah so let's hopefully it does let me go through it now no, it's really weird. Anyway, normally it lets me do it. So anyway, I've got a really, they absolutely love the steering wheel. It's got perforated leather and then smooth leather on top. Um, you've got volume up and down button, cruise control. Um, these are just to flick through the different options. So like my short term memory, I've got typical. <laughs> but yeah, uh, certainly because I've not been driving in quarantine, but I am just outside my garden right now filming this. So not going out anywhere really but yeah uh, and then yeah sat nav this is the setting i like to have it on you do have different views so you can switch it between the classic view and the more sporty view and this is the view i tend to have it on uh, a couple of things that are different about my s3 uh, other people have probably done this but so far i've had two things that have been coded in by my brother so i've had the g-force meter from the rs from the rs models coded in and i've got the oil temperature there uh, and that's really cool and then in addition you've got little things that already come standard in the s3 such as the min and max the minimum and maximum boost amount you've got your water temperature there and your fuel levels there uh, going on to the fuel levels quickly typically 60 pounds 60, 60 to 65 pounds to fill up this car fully and i guess um full tanks 420 miles if i drive this sensibly in efficiency so 65 to 70 on the motorway brilliant amazing the best miles per gallon i got was about 43 
that was me driving about 24 miles, a one, one way 24 mile journey, about 65, 70 miles per hour in cru on cru using cruise control, so it was really good. Um, driving around town is okay, but if I drive it like a maniac, then you know, um, it's a given that the fuel is going to be shit. So, yeah, it's I suppose that's with many cars like these, like this. Uh, it's all about the way you drive and I tend to look after my car as much as I can Let's just finish off with the seats because I know I haven't mentioned it So the seats in my car absolutely so like I said I got this car in really good condition and the seats are in perfect condition So you've got your little S logo there. They're super comfy adjustable headrest going up and down uh, I don't know if it goes back and forward. It could do but I'm not sure Hold you in really well and yeah, they're really firm. It's a really firm leather. I have noticed though that the previous Audi S3, so like the 8P model, the leather is a much more, um, it has a much, I feel like it's a much, it's got a much more stronger durability. And these leather seats are cool because you get to extend out. So if you do want that extra bit of like comfort, it doesn't support your legs, um, you do, you can do. So that's pretty cool. Um, what else? I think I got this, I don't know if many S3s get this, but I got this cool little first aid bag. So I've got some little cool features from Audi. Um, like moving on into the back so i've got a couple of hats here because my hair's a mess during covid19 i got this from audi and an audi umbrella so these two seats are fully pushed back i would never normally sit like this um so i mean nobody could really sit there to be fair they could but the, the legs would be squished um like i said this quality of the seats is absolutely amazing in my car um so i'll tell you how i do sit just so I can... okay so that's is that about how I sit? So I like to sit quite cosy. So now, so now you can probably see. Yeah, somebody could ease, somebody around five eleven, six foot could probably squeeze in there. Uh, but somebody around five nine, five eight. Yeah, five nine is my height. Someone could perfectly sit there with no problems at all. Get your LED lights that come on through the mirror, which is really cool. I really like this mirror. So in the previous Gen S three, so the uh, pre facelifts, this like the mirror had like a really thick plastically outline look but this has got like a very sleek kind of like um kind of uh waterfall i don't even really know what to call it but just like an edge to edge mirror um design and i really like it i think it's really sleek um so yeah that's pretty much it to be fair you got your little lighting controls on there the cabins are really decently sized i can fit those in there i've got a, a large tissue box there uh yeah it's a pretty pretty cool car loads of space and it's super comfortable to be in um Although, yeah, it's perfect. Absolutely love it. In terms of like running costs, I suppose, uh, apart from the fuel, um, is there anything really to go into? Tyres, typically, depending on what kind of brand you get. If, if you were to go for Michelin's on 18 inch tyres, which I've got, 18 inch wheels that I've got, sorry, you'd probably be looking at around anything from 350 to 400 pounds, depending if you can get any saving discounts. But yeah, apart from that, there's pretty much, I think that's everything covered. I'll quickly show you the boot on the car. Um, absolutely looks cool. It's a bit dirty now because I'm filming this separately to the way I filmed it outside. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, it's a pretty big boot. You can probably fit around one large suitcase, one medium suitcase and two I'm just thinking like two small suitcases there. I could probably fit in the back of this and survive. So yeah. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool to be fair. You've got a little section here for a bit of netting, an Audi Sport umbrella. And yeah, it's pretty cool to be fair. I'll quickly try show you the, um, oh, another thing. I don't know if you're able to see it, there you are. So when it's really dark at night, um, obviously at <laughs> night time, obviously the lighting, uh, is compromised so Audi have put these really cool so when you open the door you got it's essentially got the Audi logo on the floor I've got it on my hand right now but yeah normally it's on the floor but it's, it, it's absolutely like the sun is beaming right now so normally these would show on the floor but because the sun is beaming right now you can't see them so I've got them on my hand so yeah really cool feature by Audi and then as well you've got your little S um, logo or embossed into uh, I guess the dorsal if that's what it's called I'm not even sure but yeah that's pretty much it that's my Audi S3 um, I hope you have enjoyed this video I really do there's so much more coming in terms of my Audi S3 I've got so much more planned for it it looks so good in the sun right now so yeah 
my plan is to get this car to 400 brake horsepower. I've got loads of stuff planned for it. This car does have a tendency of overheating, so first thing I need to get carbon forged intake in it. Uh, alloys I'm going to get up to, uh, upgraded roti form alloys, 19, 19 inch. Uh, I think they're called RSE all black. Um, might black out the little Audi badge at the front since I've got the black pack already and I think it just might be a little bit of a cool add-on. Lower it, put springs on it, stage one. Um, I think it's theory wise just wheels and a few bits and bats bit uh, in terms of the performance, yeah, intake, um, a few different mounts and definitely a stage one. I'm looking at MRC performance, but we'll see what happens. But yeah, please follow my YouTube channel. Please so thank you to you all who watched my video on my brand new talk to me audi s3 black edition there's going to be so many more videos coming with this car and this car versus other cars in terms of races drag and rolling races i've got so many plans for this car so the aim is to get this car to 400 brake horsepower and there's a few aesthetic changes that i want to apply also so do follow the journey i'm going to try to make sure that i upload more consistently i have got a new camera coming along the way and i've just bought a few camera accessories because it does help in terms of recording and i think i've got a so something happened with my macbook took me a little while to fix so i've got final cut pro again on it and yeah so don't forget to share like and subscribe to my youtube channel if you want to follow any updates on my car or just for me uh, there are going to be more videos to do with me in terms of introducing myself and getting to know me a little bit better um but yeah and seeing what i'm interested in really so yeah don't forget to like share and subscribe to my youtube channel